Hey what's going on guys my name is Jim Fad in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a floating go to top button with fade in and fade out effect using Elementor page builder. So initially here on the right bottom side we cannot see any button but when we scroll a particular height then the go to top button reveals and also when we go to the top the button fades out. I will show you how to do that very easily step by step. So without further ado let's now go inside Elementor page builder. So right now we are inside of our Elementor page. By the way, I'm designing this page for my next step-by-step -step tutorial. On the tutorial, I will show you how to create this beautiful portfolio website by using Elementor's new Flexbox container. Okay, so let's first create our go to top button. And you can put that button anywhere of this page because later we will be setting that position to fixed. So no matter where you put the button, it doesn't matter. So here I'm just dragging this button underneath this social widget here. Like I said, you can put it anywhere. So here first I'm setting an icon. I'm searching for top arrow icon. So let's select this one. Click on insert and also I'm removing the text click here and here icon is facing. I'm setting it to zero. Now let's go to style tab from here I'm making its padding to 10 pixel and to set its positioning go under advanced tab from here let's set the position to fixed then the horizontal orientation I'm making it to right and let's set the pixel to 40 pixel then the vertical orientation I'm setting it from bottom and the offset I'm setting it to 40 pixel as well. So now have a look the button is fixed on the right bottom corner here and I want to make it clickable so just go under its content tab from here on link I want to link this button to the top section of this page to do it let's first select this first container let's now select it go under its advanced tab I'm here adding a CSS ID that's home you can name anything let's now copy this ID name now go to the button settings here within the link i'm just pasting the id name and before here is a hashtag so hash home all right so now no matter where we are at this page now if we click on this button it jumps us to the top of this page so far it's working perfectly but here i have got one problem like you see at this point we are at the top section of this page but still we can see this go to top button. It doesn't make any sense, right? I mean, we can see this go to top button all the time whenever we are in these sections or even when we are at the top section, we can still see this button. But at the initial stage, I wanna disappear this button and when we will scroll a few height, then I want it to be appeared. So to do it, first of all, we need to add some JavaScript snippet, but no worries because I already have written the snippet for you. So let's now just add the snippet and you can add the JavaScript snippet anywhere of the page. So here I'm adding at the top of this banner section, just click on this plus icon. Let's select a single container and here within this click on this plus icon. I'm searching for HTML widget here you go just drag it inside now within this html field i will be pasting some javascript snippet to get that snippet you can just go to jimfahaddigital.com i will put this pages link in the description so from that page if you scroll down a bit here under button revealing js just copy this css snippet from here by the way if you wonder i'm um, describing this javascript snippet this is very easy First here I have taken a variable for offset and its value is set to 300 pixel. So when we will be scrolling down 300 pixel then on the body a class name will be added that's show. And again when we go to the top of our page the show class name will be removed. Very simple. So just copy this javascript snippet go inside Elementor within this HTML field just paste the J snippet. Our work is not done yet because we have added the JavaScript snippet. Now according to this show class name we need to add some custom CSS snippet with this button. I'm explaining that a bit shortly so just for now click on this button. Go under its advanced tab and open the custom CSS field. By the way custom CSS is only available on Elementor Pro. I will put Elementor Pro purchase link in the description. 
Alright, so to get the CSS snippet, just go again to jimfahaddigital.com, then scroll down. And here under button revealing CSS, just copy this simple CSS snippet from here, go inside Elementor and paste the CSS snippet here. So now after pasting the CSS, we can no longer see the button on the right bottom side. But after 300 pixel of scrolling, we can see it's appearing on the right bottom side. Then if we go back to the top banner, it also disappears. So let me explain it very easily. Now have a look on this custom CSS snippet. Here the selector is basically this button. So initially I have set its opacity to 0. That's why at the very top banner we cannot see it. But you may remember on the JavaScript snippet I have added a class name show with the body when we will be scrolling 300 pixel from top. Then the selector that means this button gets opacity 1 that's why we can show it right now. Very simple. Let's now go back it disappears. Cool. Let's now click on this green update button to save our work. Now to preview it from real browser just click on this eyeball icon. So here initially we cannot see the button and if we scroll down a bit here on the right side we can see the scroll to top button. Now let's click on this button, it jumps to the top of our page. And let's say if you wanna change the offset value, you can also do that, just go inside Elementor. Then from here, I'm using Navigator, just right click here and click on Navigator. So you know, within this container, we have taken the HTML code. Let's select the HTML. Now here, instead of this default offset value 300, if you set it to only for example I'm setting here 1000 now click on update let's have a look on real preview page so here initially we cannot see the button but if we scroll down still we cannot see it but after scrolling down 1000 pixel now here we can see this button and now click on this button it takes us to the top of the page but instead of 1000 pixel because it's too much, I'm setting it to initial 300 pixel. And remember, you just need to write here 300. Don't write pixel with this. Just plain 300. Alright, click on this green update button to save our work. And like I said, I started creating this beautiful portfolio website using Elementor's new Flexbox container. Probably within next 3-5 to five days, I will release this step-by-step -step tutorial. I hope you have learned something new today. If you like it, please give this video a big thumb up and don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Also press on that notification bell icon to get notified before anyone whenever I will upload a new video on this YouTube channel. Also if you want me to help you on your WordPress project or Elementor project, then you can contact me through my website that's jimfahaddigital.com. I will try my best to help you personally. Once again, thank you so much for watching this full tutorial. I will see you in the next video. For now, bye-bye.